If you create SharePoint pages and you start all the time from scratch, there is a better way to do that. Microsoft has rolled out a new templates gallery. It means that you can reuse existing pages with content already there. All you need to do is just edit and add your content, but reuse the same structure so you can save time. Let me show you the new gallery templates list. Let's go. Here I am in a SharePoint. This is my home site. So let me start to create immediately a new page, normal page without using Copilot. And as a first glance, what I have here is a list of templates. These are my templates, image gallery on this, on this SharePoint site. And then down below, I have all templates just provided by Microsoft. So before to show you all templates available, let me focus on this one a bit. So you have the chance in any SharePoint site to create your own templates. So you create a page and then you can save this page as a template. And where this page is stored is in site contents. And then when you go in uh, site pages, if you have some template created, you are going to find a folder called templates. And it is this one, exactly. I have image gallery here. This is a normal SharePoint page that I save it as a template. And when you do this, this will be dropped in the folder templates under site pages. All right, now let's move on and let's see all templates available provided by Microsoft. So here you have also a button that will start immediately the classic creation from a blank page. So down below I have about a topic, visual topic introduction, topic overview, about the team, about me, team introduction, monthly news update, product news, training, this is also cool, article, in-depth article, resources, project roadmap update, training hub, event announcement, project check-in, trip report, FAQ, workplace, overview news, news story. So there are plenty. So we have how to featured article, financial summary, employee recognition, event calendar, photo showcase, event recap, in-depth status update, message from leadership. And finally, the very last celebrate pride month. So let me open one which is very cool to have which is project roadmap update so if you deal with transparency in your company and if you want to share what you are doing this is a very nice page to show numbers and to show also the timeline about your project so this is a very nice page and you can even highlight the member that are working on this project Another cool page that I have seen is the team introduction. So if you want to onboard a new member of the team or if you just do want to provide the knowledge about your team in your organization, this is the right page. So as you can see, you have also the dedicated section, leadership team, our green projects. So you can highlight people, you can highlight projects, you have the news sections and the style is very, very nice. So now, how can do to use this page? So you have here the drop down to start the private draft creation so nobody else will see what you are doing or just click on use this template. So when you do this, immediately you will be dropped on the page and what you have here is in this section, you can top to bottom you can highlight or you can change the line and the wave of this image. You can also go in this other section and you can deal with a single web part. This other one is the text web part. You can change and arrange items as you prefer. You can move the web part where you want but this is the way how you can then play with this one. Here in this section, we have an image and here we have a text web part. 
So it's very nice and easy to re-edit. But that's the, the way how you can reuse existing content in saving time instead of recreating from scratch everything. What do you think about the new templates list gallery in SharePoint? If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.